Being blunt, it's not the prettiest device with the craziest amount of features on the market, but for 69 USD, it just gets the job done. Today, we're reviewing the SafePal X1 hardware wallet. Let's check it out. Inside the box, we get the SafePal X1 wallet, a USB-A to C cable, three seed phrase backup cards, a cleaning cloth, SafePal stickers, and the setup guide. Let's take a closer look at the SafePal X1 device. At first glance, it's easy to mistake it for a calculator. Honestly, if you saw this on a desk, would you think otherwise? This cold wallet is small and compact, but surprisingly not too light. SafePal uses the same ABS and PVC plastic material here, but for some reason, the build quality feels significantly higher than the S1 device we tested earlier. When trying to bend or twist the frame, the shape held up with no damage. Props to that. SafePal X1 rocks a 1.8 8 inch 128 by 64 resolution tempered glass screen. That makes the display slightly bigger than the S1 and some other competitors for signing transactions. The buttons feel way better than the D-pad on the S1 as well. These give nice sound feedback, don't get stuck, and upgrade the user experience significantly. Probably the biggest downfall of the X1 is the small 200 mAh battery life, which lasts two hours in use. SafePal S1 has 400 mAh, so we'll need to charge this one often using the Type-C USB port on the bottom. But for some reason, laptop chargers could damage the device. So so be careful. And the X1 is the first SafePal device to implement encrypted Bluetooth instead of the normal camera and QR setup. To set up the X1, start by downloading the SafePal Wallet app. Press Connect Hardware Wallet, create a password, and choose X1. Then we need to pair the wallet using Bluetooth. Now turn on the SafePal X1 and choose a language. The phone will then find the X1 device. Click Pair and match the number on both to confirm. Next, navigate to Create Wallet on the X1. Select Create Now, and if you don't understand seed phrases, read the handy instructions included. We're given the choice of a 24, 18, or 12 word seed phrase. And as always, pick 24 for the best protection. It is annoying that only three words show up at a time, but this defends against cameras and wandering eyes while writing down the words. Better yet, if you want the best security for your seed phrase, check out CryptoTag Loki or Shieldfolio Stonebook. Then confirm every word again on the X1 device. As is customary, choose a pin code to prevent physical brute force attacks if the device is stolen. Give the wallet a name and we're good to go. Diving into the SafePal Wallet Suite app, the user experience is one of the best out there. Off the bat, we can send, stake, and receive tokens. To receive crypto, tap receive, select the token, and copy the address. SafePal also gives these helpful tutorial prompts, which could really help new users. The brand even has a cool security quiz to up your mental gains. Once received, the crypto balance should change in the app homepage. For me, this was Sol and USDC. We can also easily receive and store NFTs, such as OG Solarians on Solana. Sending crypto is simpler than SafePal S1. Click send, select the token, and input the wallet address and amount. After pressing next and confirm, we then need to approve the code on both devices. Enter our PIN and the crypto is sent. We can't confirm the wallet address and sending amount on both devices. Moving on, we also get a DeFi wallet, which is neat. There's also a unique option to set up an observation wallet, if for some reason you want to track CZ or Vitalik. Wildly enough, SafePal is the only wallet brand with a token launched on Binance, called SFP. Holding the token gives discounts for products, gas fee reductions, staking rewards, and more. Do your own research if interested. In app settings, manage security, custom networks, language, and more. Did you know in China, red means up and green means down? Lastly, there's some handy settings on the X1 itself, such as changing the pin, language, device brightness, and most importantly, sleep time. SafePal supports 200 blockchains, totaling over 30,000 tokens. That's a massive selection compared to other competitors, especially at SafePal's low price. As for NFTs, Ethereum, Ordinals, Ton, Solana, Sui, and more are currently available. SafePal X1 secures the device with the following components. The first chip is a microcontroller, or MCU, that controls all basic functions, such as key movements and Bluetooth operation. The second chip is the CCEAL 5 Plus secure element, which generates and stores private keys, along with other cryptographic functions. EAL 5 Plus is just one off the max recommended EAL 6 Plus certification for top crypto protection. Firmware on the X1 is the strangest part, and I wasn't able to get it working on my phone. To 
upgrade, we need to plug in the device to PC, find the device code, copy and paste the code here, download the file, and then drag it over to start the download. Well, that was simple. Most wallets let you update code versions safely in app. So this is the most difficult firmware update experience so far. Two standout security features with SafePal devices are the self-destruct mechanism, which wipes the device if opened, and the firmware protection, which confirms genuineness of uploaded firmware. To be fully transparent, no flaws have been found in the SafePal X1 since launch. But be aware, there was a third-party audit in 2021 from Kraken Security Labs. They identified potential vulnerabilities in the SafePal S1 hardware wallet, highlighting several key concerns. If you want to read more on the findings in Kraken's article and SafePal's response, those are linked in the description below. Based on an article from September 2023, the SafePal wallet app was made open source. As for the hardware of the X1, the only part that's not open source is the EAL 5 Plus secure element chip, likely due to an NDA agreement signed with the chip supplier. The supplier and chip model are unknown. SafePal was founded in 2018 by Veronica Wong, who I've personally met, and two other founders. Originally formed in China, SafePal is currently based in Singapore. The brand has also launched two other devices, the S1, which we recently reviewed, and the S1 Pro. On Trustpilot, SafePal currently holds a 3.5 out of 5 rating. And for the SafePal X1 specifically, the device scored an 8.2 out of 10 on 99bitcoins.com, a 4.2 out of 5 on cryptonews.com, and a 4.1 out of 5 on amazon.com. Here's what users are saying about the X1 cold wallet. All in all, I think quality wise, you're getting more than what you pay for with this. The app is super friendly and even teaches me as a user to stay safe when signing contracts or trades. If you're an iPhone user, be prepared for some frustration. I've tried connecting it with both my iPhone 13 Pro and my iPhone 15 Pro Max. In both cases, I ran into repeated connection issues. It was a good deal but very complicated to use, so I returned it. To get a true idea of SafePal's reputation, consult their socials, metrics, and read what other users are saying. If support is needed, go to safepal.com, click about, and contact us. This page can also be reached in the SafePal app through settings and help center, where there's also a chatbot who isn't very friendly. Let's compare the SafePal X1 with the most popular cold wallets we've tested. Firstly, next to the SafePal S1, the X1's Bluetooth is much faster than the QR scanning system of the S1. Build quality is much better on X1. Compared to the Ledger S Plus, it has two buttons, must be plugged in, and doesn't use Bluetooth. With limited storage, the S Plus supports less tokens. Trezor Safe 3 is just like Ledger S Plus, but has less token support and similar build quality. One Key Classic 1S has four buttons, connects via Bluetooth or USB-C, and has a similar app and build quality. Tangem cards use NFC instead of Bluetooth. No screen makes it less safe and has a worse app. Tangem rings are the same as the cards, but in ring form. Cool Wallet Go is a copy of Tangem cards. Cool Wallet Pro has an even smaller battery, tinier screen, and is clunkier and slower to use. Ledger X is a closer comparison. Bluetooth or USB-C connection, similar app, but better build quality. Cypherock X1 is USB-C only, has a joystick, four backups, a worse app, and lower build quality. SecuX so Neo X is bulky, has lower build quality, and a worse app. The Flex has a larger screen for signing transactions and additional features such as NFC and lock screen. Much higher quality with a similar app. The Stax is exactly the same as the Flex, other than a curved screen and side label binding. You know, every time I see the price of a SafePal device, it makes me think I won't like it. And that's not fair. But just as with the S1, the X1 also caught me by surprise. Being blunt, it's not the prettiest device with the craziest amount of features on the market, but for 69 USD, it just gets the job done. For being made of plastic, the device is considerably strong and has an incredible app that competes with my current personal favorite app in Ledger Live. Also, the setup and user experience is remarkably simple for navigating, receiving, and sending crypto. So should you buy a SafePal X1? Especially while discounted, I'd say it's worth a try. We get an affordable wallet with a solid app and good token support. So if you want to grab one, check out my link below for a discount. And a huge thanks to SafePal for sending one over. Meow, catch you in the next one.